Um, this is just a quick um, how to identify the various World War One German helmets. Um, mainly the M16, the M17, and the M18. Um, this description doesn't include the uh, the one with the semicircular cutout along the side for the telephone operator. So it's just the M16, M17, M18. Now, I'm going to use this as a generic example. I'll do this particular helmet in a separate video, but for the description, this is going to be the generic M16, M17 and M18. Basically, when you see one on a shelf like that, you just see a World War I German helmet, and that's all you can see. Now, to identify the different year models, because they used the same shell, it's not what it looks like outside. You have to look inside the piece. That will tell you what the year model is. Now I'm going to come up a bit closer because you need to see inside. Now, M16, M17, M18 shell. It's just like that. Your bulk standard World War I German helmet shell with the horns on the side to act as vents and also for a, an armoured, they call them sniper plates to go on the front. So that's your typical World War I German helmet. However, when you look inside it, now you see, ignore that label that's right in the back, that's peculiar to this particular helmet, so I'll cover it in another video. But if you look inside it, you see inside you have a fixing there and a fixing on the other side there. That's the fixings for the chin strap, which goes inside the shell. It's mounted to the shell. Now, if you have one of these helmets where the chin strap mounts are fixed to the shell, and if your liner is a leather banded liner, then your helmet is a model 1916 helmet. If you have the same shell with the mounts inside the helmet, for the chin strap and your band is a metal liner band you've got the model 1917 shell if you have this same shell and the the chin strap mounts have been factory ground off so there's no chin strap mounts on the shell but the band is like a world war ii german band with the with the oblong chin strap mounts mounted on the actual helmet liner then you have the model 1918 helmet. So I'll put I'll put the descriptions in in the in the description box. So I'll, I'll type it down. But that's the, that's the way you tell them apart. And if if you, if a shell just turns up, if you find a shell, and it hasn't got the chin strap mounts on the inside, if they've been ground off, then you've got the M18 shell. Whereas the M16 and M17 shells are exactly the same. So if you find a German helmet shell with the, the chin strap mounts inside and it doesn't have a liner, it can be either the M16 or the M17. There's no real difference between them. You need the liner in it. The liner in it denotes the actual model until you get to the 1918 model. And by that time, they've cut off the mounts from the inside the shell for the strap and put them on the actual uh, liner itself. So that's how you tell them apart. It's easy when you know how. So when you see, when you're at a show, and you see a World War I German helmet just sitting on a shelf like that, it's just a World War I helmet, pick it up, look inside, that will tell you what, what year model it is, M16, M17, M18, fairly simple to know, and basically that's all it is to it. It's not really rocket science, it's not... A brilliant piece of expertise you've just got to know what to look for and as I've said before every German helmet tells you a story so we'll see you for another video shortly